it's me again. I wanted to be going over just a quick tip to set up your computer or Windows 10 for your tablet and Krita, or just in general. I notice going from 7 to 10, it's just so much pickier than it ever was, and it drives me nuts. So hopefully what I did to make my experience a lot easier and just, you know, easier to use, hopefully this helps you. So you have to change your settings in the control panel for your pen and touch. And the reason for this is because now that we have actual, not drawing tablets, but computer tablets, those styluses you use, Microsoft is like, oh yeah, it's like a, a stylus you use for a drawing tablet. And it isn't quite the same. I mean, you can, you can use one of their styluses on your Windows 8 or Windows 10 tablet, but it's not the same as a Wacom or a Huion or whatever other tablet. So just go to your, you know, click the window icon and type in control panel and, and search for pen. And then click on pen and touch. The biggest thing that you want to turn off is flicks. Turn it off. You don't, I mean, if you use it, keep it on, but that can interfere with your Wacom tablet. You, so just turn it off if, you, if it's having problems or getting any problems. And the second thing is to uh, double click and open the press and hold settings and turn that off as well. Because what that's going to do is when you're drawing and you make that first stroke, even though it's only touching the, or the, the pen's only being pressed on for a second, it's going to, I don't know if it's going to activate right away. Yeah, it's not going to. I don't want to mess with it anyway. It's It can interfere with your drawing. So that's fine. I turn these off. I don't use the eraser on my um, pen. I think it's because of the Helions, the, the one I have, doesn't have the, that capability. So I just never bothered using it on the Wacom pen. And I just use the shortcuts on my keyboard anyway, which is faster to me than having to flip my pen over all the time. Um, I turned the pen button as a right click equivalent as well because I have buttons on my Wacom tablet for that. Why do I need why do I need the, this? I don't. Uh, double click or double tap, I left it as it was and this single click that's default, you can't change it anyway. That should interfere with your, how your tablet works. So that's great. Now you want to go to your Wacom tablet properties. So, if you go to, oh, yeah, shoot, this one. Uh, Wacom Tablet Properties, go to the uh, grip pen, go to mapping. You want to turn this off. Turn it off, you don't need it on. You don't want to use Windows Ink. So that's great. And then here you can also change all your other functions on your buttons and stuff. I don't use them either. I, don't, I just, I can't get, it's it just, the way my tablet's oriented is for left-handed, even though I'm right-handed, because of the way my computer's set up and the cord, it just, it's, I just don't use them. Um, but definitely go through and you can change your other settings for your tablet, but that's kind of your personal preference. Just make sure to take off the Windows ink. I am re-recording this part because I wanted to, I guess, explain it better and give a solution to what I was talking about before I started redoing this. Basically, um, what I was experiencing when switching to from Windows 7 to Windows 10 was when I was drawing, I wasn't, I was getting like a one, two second delay on the first stroke, so instead of making a nice clean stroke like like this or like this, I would have, it would just like stick here and then I can do it. So after doing a lot of research, I found a solution. And I'm not sure why it is with Windows 10, because in Windows 7 I didn't have this issue, but here's the solution. Go to your settings and to configure Krita, and you go to, to your display. I believe by default, um, Auto or OpenGL is selected, and this is what's rendering out what you're doing for your dis the actual display of the tablet cursor and all that stuff. If you're experiencing any delays, try going to Direct3D. I switched to that and I haven't had any issues since. I can still do everything in Creative just fine. I haven't experienced 
whoops, <laughs> I haven't experienced any other delays. Um, it's worked out really great for me. By turning it off, which is this right here, I, ha I you can't hit W and you can't do the wraparound mode. You have to enable the OpenGL or at least the directory and then it will work. So I can hit OK and oh, there we go. And now as you see I'm hitting W, I'm getting the wraparound mode. So that's one way to solve the problem if you're having any delays on your Wacom tablet when you're drawing. I don't know if that affects the Huron tablets or any other brand of tablet. I haven't tested that out yet, but I um, do recommend that's the best solution you're going to have in case you're like tearing your hair out like, oh my god, why am I having this second delay here? And I'll actually change it for you just so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll put back to just put it to auto. I'm gonna restart Krita and then uh, open new document. I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, so I'm back with a new document. I have the open GL on. So right now it's okay, but as I keep going, well, it's not gonna do it. There you go. You can see here with this stroke here, there is some lag. And there was again in here. Again there, again there. You can see how it's not giving me those, you know, it's not helping me draw. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty bad. So, yeah, that's that's what I was experiencing. Hopefully that helps you guys out um, when you're setting up Creator for the first time or if you're switching to a new system or you're trying out the Wacom tablets to start with or any other issues you have, that, that's what I would start with and then um, if you're still having issues there is a list of compatible tablets on Creator's website some have been tested, some haven't, there's so many out there now it, it's almost impossible to test them all but at least they'll give you a starting point for compatibility leave a like, make sure to subscribe if you are subscribed and you haven't been noticing any videos from me make sure to hit the notification bell because you will get, well, you're supposed to get a notification that I posted it by hitting the notification bell. So, hopefully that will help too. Alright, thanks and see you in the next one.